Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrik and welcome back to another exciting new adventure. So, I was planning to start a new game project and I got a pretty sick idea in my mind. I was watching the Book of Life a couple days ago and I've never seen any game about bullfighting. So I figured out why I don't create something about this experiment and let's try, let's try something out. So, let's game development for you guys. But my last video did amazingly well and I, I have to thank you all guys from my heart i'm so glad most of you liked it and enjoyed my four method of finding new game idea and my discord just exploded just crossed 50 members and our youtube just crossed 250 subscribers i am fourth of the way to 1000 so i'm so close thanks everyone for supporting my dream but in the last video i got a request or two about my game the cave kitchen and how I was able to create a two-player co-op, local co-op game. Cave Kitchen is a simplified version of Overcook, done in a 2D and set in a stone age, and can be played by two people in one keyboard. And now, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a simple local co-op control manager in Unity. So, let's get started. The basic idea behind this manager is to have an easy way to access all the controls and modify them for all the players without having to complicate the code or creating multiple codes for each player. After creating a new project in Unity, we have to create an enum script that will help us save the controls in a namespace and request them when we need to. And of course, we can add as much controls as we want. In our case, I've added the left key, the right key, and the action key. And those are the three available actions or keys for any player to use. Next. We create the control manager script, and in it, we need to divide it to three parts. The player request function, the key class, and the player controls class. First, we need to write the function that the player movement script will request to get the right key code. Second, we need to write the key code class. And here, we can notice that each key will consist of a control enum, the one we wrote before, in the namespace, and next, the unity key code to respond to that enum value. So our enum value left key may have a key code of number 5 for example. The third part is writing the player controls class that should contain a list of key codes class that we have just wrote. And now let's write a global list that will contain all the player controls classes and let's make it a serialized field so it will show in the inspector. And as you can see, it's not showing at all. And this because we need to make the classes serializable. And don't forget to add the using system library. And now, after adding those two tags, we can see that it's showing in the inspector fully with the key code classes and the player control class. Now, we have to write the key code function in the player controls class. After modifying the return on the main function, which will allow us to go to the global list, get the player ID control class, and then request the key code based on that anum control provided. Now, in the player control classes, we, we write a simple for each loop that will go over all the key code list until we find the one with the same controls provided and then return to the player and after adding these small details, the code is ready to work. And for our final step, is setting the controls in the main inspector in Unity to be able to have as many players as we want. To test our finished manager, let's write a simple player movement script. The most important part here is to write the player ID to make it accessible from the inspector so each player will have a different ID. Then we add the player speed and the control manager object and in the start of the function you need to find it by simply using find object of type function to find the control manager in the scene. Now in the update function we write if input.get key and for the key code we request the key code from the control manager and send with the function the control enum that we need and in here we need the left key control enum inside the if we write the translate function on the transform of that object to move left multiplied by speed by delta i we repeat the process for moving right and for the action part let's make the project just print the action that the action is fired now in unity we create the player and add the player movement script to it and make sure to add the correct ID and in our case here is zero because our first ID in the 
arrays in Unity or in programming in general is zero. And they have put the number one to move left, number two to move right, and number three to do the action. As you can see, it's working perfectly. And even if we add another player with different ID, we can see that it's also working as four to move left, five to move right, and six to do the action as you have set it before. And we can even add a third player. We just need to add a new player controls and copy and paste the player's script or the player object and change the ID to two. And now we have three players with three different controls with just a simple modification. I hope you like this small example on how to create a full control manager for a local co-op game in Unity. Before we end, the code is free and available on my GitHub, links in the description, so you don't have to stop and write the code and let the video be more of the explanation. And feel free to fork the code and modify it. Looking forward to see what all of you can do with it. And in the end, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and join our kingdom on over on Discord. Links in the description. Thank you all guys for all the support you are giving me and see you all in the next adventure.